Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. We're over here at the Witch Farm Perimeter because we're going to be doing the storage building today. It's something that I've been working on for quite some time over in a creative testing world, getting the design set and we're ready. We've got the materials, so let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, over here at the Witch Farm Perimeter, and we've done some cleanup. Last time, we really had a lot of time here. We had a bunch of chests around with stuff I had pulled out of the ground. So I've consolidated all of that over into my house over in Port Hypermine, way that way. And I've also taken down all of the other uh, digging stuff that we had left in chests dotted about. So that's, we're all clear here, but we have a little bit of cleanup to do here. This doesn't quite fit in with my design. It's a wonderful gift from Twinkles, but the time has come for it to go bye-bye. So we're going to be having to take care of that. But before we get started, the design that I have in mind for the Witch Farm storage building is not a medieval design. Uh, I, you know, when I first started this thing, I was thinking maybe we'll do a medieval design, but I think our time is up at least for this project. So we're going to go into resource packs. I'm sorry, B00 texture pack. You got to go. So let's put this over here. We're going to go back to Faithful 32. It's a good, clean set of textures. It's going to be perfect for what we have in mind for this thing. A lot of clean textures. We're going to go with a modern look. And I think we need a modern looking resource pack for the overall building. And wow, you see it a lot better. I've got Optifine on with the, the uh, what is it, the connected texture, so that's helping out some too. But, but anyway, we need to take down this covering because it doesn't fit in with our design, and we need to actually redo the witch farm. The design that's in there is not the most efficient, so we need to take out this and then take out the redstone. So I think the best way of doing this, and we're going to have a series of these, the best way to do this is to do a little time lapse. We're going to take down the entirety of the uh, witch farm right here. We're going to leave up the platform so that I know where they are for long term for the next uh, next farm that we build. But um, yeah, we're going to do a little replay mod time lapse and take this thing apart. And uh, I'll bring you back once we've got this thing complete. So let's roll the music. Well, after seeing that structure there for so long, it's kind of sad to see it go. But we do have to make way for progress here. And the shell of what I want to put around the witch farm needs all of that room. And we also need to redo the witch farm, which is what I'm going to talk to you about here real quick. But before we get into that, I want to let you know that I put out some flyers today for my missing cat. And then somebody called me this afternoon, one of my neighbors and said, hey, we found your cat. It's like, excellent. So I went over and sure enough, she was under somebody's house. She'd gotten locked in their crawl space. So uh, if you're not familiar with the crawl space, it's like what a basement would be if we were further up north in the US, but uh, we don't have to dig down that far for the frost line. But anyway, uh, you can go read about that on various building code websites if you want to. But anyway, we found her. She's back home safe and sound. So anyway, we're, we're back to... Um, I'm not as out of sorts as I was. So what are we talking about here? I need to bring up the chunk borders and let you know uh, what we're doing here is figuring out where the line I needed to add was. So the design I was originally using was the Zuma Void water pushing design, and that lopped off one of the lines for spawning because of the water. Water only 
pushes eight or uh, falls eight blocks. And so if we had had the full spawning available, so all seven all the way across this dimension right here, and then the pistons and then the water behind that, well, the water would have stopped right here on this block. And that's no good. So um, I, we had to get rid of one line. And so that's what, what we've done. And in case you didn't know, which huts always generate on a chunk border. So the for me to figure out how or which line I needed to add back, we'll have to bring up the chunk borders here. And that tells me that since this is already on a chunk right there, that our, our extra spot needs to go right here. So I've added that and we're going to be using the Il Mango or the Psycraft design. I'm not sure which one of those guys put it together. So I'm getting the a lineup of blocks there for that. And then I've marked the center just because it's kind of useful to know that. And I've done that all the way down. Let's bring off the chunk borders, shall we? Okay. And then the next order of business is, well, what we've got to do is figure out where the shell is going to go uh, around the witch farm. And that means we need to build the witch farm or at least the structure of it. Um, so that we know where to put all of our our shells so uh so yeah that's the next order of business and part of that means also uh, figuring out where these things are going to drop this is the correct height right here so i need to take out this line of hoppers and we're actually going to reduce the amount of hoppers we have and pull this all the way back so i've gotten rid of this uh, squid farm as well but we're going to redo the whole witch farm structure I'm going to do a little time lapse for that and hopefully you enjoy. I did warn you we were going to have a lot of time lapses, so this is going to be the next one in our lineup. So hopefully you enjoy and I will see you in just a little bit. Well, we're back here over at the public farms because uh, after last time's video, when I was looking through here, JB said I missed something. I missed an automatic sugarcane farm. So we got the cactus farm here, producing cactus. Okay, we're good there. I've come through here and replanted all this stuff a couple of times. Let's take a look. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's an automated sugarcane farm. Looks like it uses observers, so, but we're going to have to be over here for it to run. Whenever the sugar cane grows up, I think that's when the piston pushes the whole thing and tries and shoots it over here. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's how it goes. And so it just collects all in there. So it's an automated sugar cane farm. That's pretty cool. And then he also made mention of the fact that I had pointed out a couple of farms over here that were not his. So he mentioned the nether wart farm. That's not, that wasn't his. And the flower farm also was not his. But hey, whoever did it, it fits in just fine right over here in the public farms. And I think it's a good just a good mix all around. So, very useful. Anyway, back to our main project. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed that particular time lapse. And we're just doing a couple flybys so you can get an idea of the overall design here. I think it turned out pretty decent. But you can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. We've got... The stone brick fences gives a little bit of structure. Maybe I'll come in for a landing here. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. And then in between that, we're using the slabs. And what that's also going to do is cut off the entire thing from light. So we should be able to see the witches dropping down, but it's not going to add any light back up into the main farm so we can continue to have the correct low light levels that we need up there. But we're not quite done. This is not the overall structure. No, we're going to be wrapping something else more around it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse. Certainly enjoyed putting that together and getting this finally out onto paper. Well, not really paper, but this design has been in my head for a little bit. So glad to finally get it out there. What we're going to do is take a look at some of the design decisions. I'll kind of explain those to you and we'll see what I end up actually including in that time lapse. We've got a little bit extra on that floor there. So uh, let's drop down in here and we can take care of this a little later. There we go. Okay, so we've got this torus. It is 83 in diameter around, well, I'm not sure whether it's from, maybe it's from the center of this circle. I don't know, but it's, I went to plots.co.uk and you can go 83 on that thing and it is centered perfectly on the center of the farm right there in the middle. And then this diameter right here, our, our inner room, if you will, is 19. Then up there on the sphere up at the top and the bottom, same 
Same diameter. Let's see if we can jump up here. Yeah, it's a 31 diameter sphere. And then right around the drop chute right there is a 17 diameter cylinder. So that's just some of the numbers right there. Between each of those spheres is something like 23, yeah, 23 blocks. So I've got this thing centered, hopefully, on the exact middle. If we don't, I'm not going to change it. Nope, 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 nope. Also in here, what I've done is I've brought in some quartz half slabs. And there I go, calling them half slabs. It's not a half slab. It's just a slab. But uh, yeah, so right here, it's a, it's a nice clean design. And that's going to keep things from spawning in here. And then under here, I've shown you right there, we've got stone slabs. The reason we've done that is because we've got a couple of slime chunks that this thing runs through. So the torches aren't enough to keep the mob spawns down. So there you have it right there. Certainly enjoyed putting this together. And, uh, you know, we've, we've actually come to the end of our time today, but I'm not quite done with this project. No, we've still got plenty of work ahead of us. Let's see if we can just pop out right here. Yes, like that. Okay. And then we'll get firework rocket in hand. Okay. And there we go. So we've still got plenty of work to do. We've got to actually rebuild the witch farm inside. We've got to put together some sort of an item transit system. And then down there in the proper area here, we've got to actually build the storage system. So we're going to have a sorting system of some form. We're going to have multiple item elevators all feeding into it, carrying items, not just from there, but from other farms. We're going to put like a, a neutral mob farm over there so we can get cooked steak and all that, just AFK. And then a slime farm we'll put over there and then some other farms. Contract's going to help me out a little bit with that. I'm going to line out some, some places for him to, to do some work and, uh, yeah, so he'll have content for his streaming. So do check that out. Be on the watch for what he's putting together. And then we've also got to get rid of all of these walkways and we've got to move that. So anyway, we've got plenty of work to do still, but that's going to be in future episodes. One thing I'd like you to consider over on the sides here, we're going to put a wall all the way around this thing. So I was originally just going to put some stone brick and I figured, you know what, that might be kind of boring. So if you've got an idea for a design for that, do let me know. Just uh, send me a screenshot on Twitter or something like that if you've got some ideas for that. And it doesn't have to be the whole wall, just just a, just an idea or, or send me an idea or something anyway. Um, certainly like to keep those in mind. But yeah, anyway, I have certainly enjoyed putting this together. I'm glad to bring it out for you to see. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the overall design. We're going to be back working on this in the future, maybe next episode. Who knows? We've got some other stuff to take care of around the server as well, but certainly, uh, certainly we'll be focusing here for the short term. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.